Hello, welcome back to my channel. Alrighty, so if you watched my previous video, The Magic of Believing, uh, this is going to be in connection to that video. And basically I'm going to tell you how to use negative emotions to your benefit. And the first thing I wanna start off with is what I told you in The Magic of Believing, if you're taking this journey and if you decided to you know, trust the source and trust me uh, and you started on the journey, you've got to know what breaks it up. So if you're already uh, thinking right and feeling right and trying to believe beyond the shadow of a doubt, just know there are negative emotions that break anything that you have coming to you up. And I'm just going to go through the list of the ones that I thought were the worst. And that would be vengeance, hate, intolerance, jealousy, sadness, sorrow, depression, anger, and impatience. Now there are a lot more other negative emotions out there, but those are to me were the worst ones and you just have to know that if you're immersed in these emotions and you stay immersed where you're thinking and you're dwelling and you're you know focused on the lack of and the how and how are you going to do this and not good enough and you're just pretty much personifying all these emotions basically you're you're breaking anything good that's coming your way so now I'm going to get into the ways that you can try to help yourself and not do that. So one of the first ways is stop thinking and stop believing in good and bad luck. There is no such thing as good and bad luck. Basically, the people that you see out there that are lucky are doing this. They're believing in what they're doing beyond the shadow of a doubt. They're feeling good when they're going to do whatever it is that they're going to do. And they're taking action. They're taking, they're, they're doing whatever it takes to try to get to their main goal. And that's why they seem lucky. And I think, like I said, 90% of it is belief. So if you can believe beyond the shadow of a doubt, there's nothing that won't come to you. So that's one way. Um, another way is the two worst things that can happen to you in life is war and death. Uh, there really isn't anything worse than that. And it, it's just important because you're taking so much pressure off of yourself when you see things in that light. Um, the third way is uh, not see or not believe that you have problems and worries. If the two worst things that can happen to you are death and war, why would you see things as problems and worries? They should be seen as obstacles and challenges. And obstacles and challenges are actually more positive than problems and worries. Why? Because sometimes challenges can get you to be the best person that you can be. Because with the challenge, it's a challenge. You want to be better. You want to say, you know what? This is a challenge and I'm going to beat it. So you don't want to see your life inundated with problems and worries. You want to change that and always say, you know what, that's a challenge. That's an obstacle that I can overcome, period. Another way is change what you say. Change what you say. Start saying all is well. When you're in a negative situation, acknowledge it and say, you know what, I don't know how this is going to work out for me, but it is. I know it is. And then believe that with all you've got. Say, you know, things have a way of working out for me. Regardless of whether you believe it or not, start changing what you say because what you say is extremely important. I picture a caricature. I picture when I'm feeling at my worst and I've got all these emotions built up and I've got this little voice that's telling me all these things. You're not going to do this. You're not going to make it. You're not going to do this. I picture a little roach smoking a little blunt with his arms crossed over his chest, just talking ish and just letting out all the negative things that you know, you know you say to yourself on a daily basis, or that you've heard from other people, or that you've experienced. I just let them talk-ish. I just let them talk and talk and talk. Then you know what I do? I tell them to shut up. I say, cancel, cancel, and I squash the bug. And I erase all that negativity. I've let it out. I've acknowledged it. And then the final step is just to say, I see and I acknowledge all of this i know that it doesn't seem like there's a way out it doesn't seem like anything's going to come of it but i know it is i know that somehow this is going to work to my benefit and then i let it go and the last technique which is the most important it's called the gary callahan technique now there are plenty of videos on the web or on youtube i should say that will help you understand it even better i'm just going through the basics because 
this video is going to be entirely too long if I go into that, but you're going to take either hand, you're going to take your first two fingers, and basically what you're doing is hitting all the pressure points on the body and breaking up and releasing all the negative energy in your body, shooting it out so you can reset and start feeling better. And I do this especially when I'm at work or I've gone through a bad situation on the train, or I've met someone that I cannot stomach and I need a break and this is what I do. So I'm gonna take my first two fingers on my right hand because I'm right-handed. I'm gonna start at the top of my head and you wanna tap at least 20 to 30 times in each area. You wanna go to the beginning of your eyebrow, right on that bone. You wanna hit the lower part of your bone. You wanna hit the side of the face on the cheekbone, underneath your nose, underneath your chin, your collarbone. Usually I like to take my two knuckles and knock right on that collarbone. Really huge vibration when you knock on your collarbone. Then you want to take your two fingers again underneath the armpit, right under the meaty part of your hand, all the fingers, thumb, first, second, third, and fourth. You're just going to tap on each of those and the third and fourth space on the top of your hand right there. So those are all the spots that you want to hit whenever you're at the end of your rope and you feel like you're going to cry, you're going to scream. And I promise you that that releases bad energy in the body. I think that's the best thing that you can actually do. Well, those are all the ways that I've got that I practice every day that I actually do on a daily basis to help me feel better and combat negative energy. I hope this helped you. I hope that you did see my previous video. I hope that you're on this journey with me. I'm definitely going to leave five more titles of the books that I have read in the description box below so that if you're interested, you can continue and, you know, check out the books, get a sample because I know some of them are you're able to get a sample of it if you're feeling really iffy still about this. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my video. My next videos are going to probably be either something entertaining that'll make you laugh or shock you. I've been through a couple of robberies, so stay tuned for that. Well, anyway, this is the end of my video. Give me a like if you liked it. Um, a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe, and until my next video.